Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the MLG Offices in New York City. I'm Axel Toss, joined by Axlab. How are you guys doing in the chat? You guys are awesome. Um, shall we? This is this is the last game. This is important. I think we shall. 2-2. Two, two. They're tied 2-2. Two, two. The winner advances to the finals. One step closer to that $10,000. $10,000 prize. Hero versus Maru. Shall we? Let's do it. Shall we? The deciding fifth and final game yep. in this best of five series between two of the best players in the world in the upper right hand location. Representing Team Liquid hailing from South Korea has won many international events but has not had the same level of success in Korean or to date Chinese events. He is the blue Protoss, Liquid Hero. And if he wins this, that would be a, a great notch in his belt. I know a lot of people in Korea might question some of the Koreans who play mostly internationally, saying, you guys don't play in WCS Korea because you can't hack it. Well, Hero proving he can hack it. So far, 2-2 two and two against the current WCS Korean champion. And, of course, his, op his opponent in the bottom of tan location, also from South Korea, representing Team Prime, the Yellow Terran, potentially the favorite to win this tournament, Maru Prime. It all comes down to this. They're tied 2-2. And we, Linux, we need to get like a, a laugh track or like a, a crowd track or something to kind of write. Just something to, to put after those intros. I think that'd be sick. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is it. Winner of this game moves on to the finals. It's huge. Now, the map is Derelict Watcher. Some interesting aspects of this map. It's very open in the middle. Very open, open map, which Terran generally is, is happy with. And if you look at how Mara's been playing this, his unit spreads have been so insane already. Mm -hmm. Like on a Derek Watcher map, I don't know. I would not want to have to fight Maru in like a late game engagement on this map. It would be just brutal. Or even in the mid game. You know what he was doing in the last game that I, I kind of just briefly mentioned but I wanted to reinforce it? Mm -hmm. When he was fighting uh, against, when Hero had like one or, or, or two Colossi and early engagements. Um, so they weren't like, when there's like five Colossi, you can't do this, it's hard to protect. But Maru was just looking at which of the bio units were kind of, uh, which, which which you could tell by the way the Colossus is looking where it's probably going to attack, right? And he would split his units up a little bit. Okay. So instead there'd be two Marines or a Marine and Marauder side by side. He would quickly just grab one of those and move it back a step. If you grab both back him up a step, the, the Colossus... Kills both. Yeah, kills both. Matter. But if you just put one back a step, then you're just really minimizing all that. And it was just like a micro step, just enough to dodge the, the laser beam, but, um, but also not like he's losing the damage output of that unit. Uh, it was actually... Really insane to watch. Uh, is the level control Maru has uh, is, is pretty phenomenal. Okay. The question is, I mean, and there were a lot of mule droppings. Yes. A lot of mule droppings. He might be in Hero's head just in a little bit. In game one and two, Maru Prime's like, you know what? I let you win those first two games, my friend. Oh, look at this. A double Reaper out of these. That's not, you don't see Double Reaper too often. Uh, typically, I mean, against Zerg, you see them... Uh, you'll make more uh, a couple Reapers because Zerg can't have anything that can kill Reaper until they get Zerg and speed out, typically. Uh, but Protoss, you know, Stalker or Mothership Core can really deflect Reapers a little better than, than slow Zergians or Queen can. So normally against Protoss, you often see one Reaper early, mm -hmm. uh, and then that Reaper is maybe you can kill a Probe here or there, but it's really the primary purpose is both to scout and also to keep the, your, your opponent, make him keep the units at home so they can't counterattack you and then do anything annoying. You can kind of delay your bunkers, uh, which speeds up the build a little bit. Uh, but two Reapers, that's an extra investment of 50 minerals, 50 gas, which uh, is, is non... I mean, it, it's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. Uh, but let's see if Morrow... Morrow must think he can get something done with two Reapers that he couldn't get done with one. Sneaking in. Bouncing out. Oh, well, he's putting some damage on a Nexus. Yeah. I don't I think I that's... Think I, that does come back, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm. try to target down the weakened one. Okay. Uh, zealots won't be an issue. Actually, there's something in the main base of... Okay. Oh, the yeah. gas storm. Cool. Uh, that that affects um. I mean, you see Zorgs at the Terran sometimes, so they can't follow up with as fast of a cloak Banshee. Mm -hmm. Protoss versus Terran, though. You know that that, that does mess up like a bit. You m yeah, mess up like the factory time here. Yeah, or in this case, I think he delayed Stim a bit. Um, and, and actually, in fact, it might delay his Starport. Slash eBay because often sure. he often like to be starting plus one weapons. There's basically a bunch of there's so a bunch of gas here. You're, you're building that gas instead of building a zealot. 
kind of. Yeah. It's 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 similar. Similar idea. Um, one of them attacks our gas, the other one attacks our minerals because they have to build an early bunker. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea of the zealot. Force them to get an early bunker or maybe get a, an SCV killer too, either which are attacking the minerals. I mean, with two Reapers though, I don't think a zealot oh, yeah. would do anything. Oh, no. And no bunker would even be required. Yeah, Reapers would just laugh at the zealot. Um, Ooh. Three, oh. three stalkers there. Oh, he's actually going to continue going forward. So the Reapers may get trapped here. The stalker's trying to zone them out. Reapers splitting up, saying you go this way, I go that way. But One of us can escape. Hero splitting up as well. Oh, and he can get both, both of them. Both of them are gone, yep. Yeah, he, too bad he can't jump. There's jump! No jumping there. No, they're just too, too tall. He would die. Um, so overall, two Reapers not really paying off at all. This is uh, an interesting attack. Only eight Marines and a Marauder, but there's a full 10 over... Well, you can maybe force full 10 overcharge. But well, Hero ideally would try to wait to use it. Oh, he sees the Observer. He wants to go kill that. Yeah, he does. And Observers are slower than Marines, so... He's like, leave me alone. I'm not here, I promise. But, but who's talking to us if you're not there? <laughs> I'm uh, hearing a whisper. I'm God. <laughs> I'm God. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> uh, he did ask a question. He scanned to find the answer, and the answer was a dead Observer. Now, uh, Hero trying to just trade shields for hit points. Uh, of course... Hit points will probably be recovered by medevac. Shields will generate, but medevac energy is, is important where shields uh, regenerate for free, and, and you might even be able to kill a marine or two uh, if you kept it up for long enough. In fact, this marine, it's like, run, guys! Run! Run! They're like, Billy, go fight them! Keep us alive! But Billy's like, no, man. I'm not sacrificing no. myself. I'm getting to that bunker, oh. and Billy might be dead. Oh, poor little guy. See you later. Now, yeah, stalkers went up yeah, there. Yeah, they going to go up there. <laughs> All three of them would have died probably in like a second. Uh, well done there by Hero, though. So he's got a Twilight, and he's starting Blink. Interesting little... Well, he started he and canceled it. He's yeah, got, he's he getting Colossus. He's getting a Colossus now. Like, that'd be a lot of tech. Like, I don't need... He doesn't have the gas for that, really. Yeah. Um, um, not At least not if he wants to build more than three Stalkers, anyways. I think he, he remembers last game what happened. But he, he remembered uh, there was an attack, and he saw how many units Maru had. Uh, by the way, talking about what Maru's been doing, even right. focusing on here a bit. Uh, Morrow's just progressing up to normal Terran stuff now. The important thing is the eBay is fairly delayed, so the upgrade's not super fast. Um, but he is just getting, you know, three barracks, uh, probably two with or two with tech labs, and one with a reactor. So that's a little bit, um, a little bit different than, than what you sometimes see. Oh, uh, it's because he had one reactor so early, so his marine count was already high from just cranking out so many early game. Now instead of going for the mass attack from the front like we saw last game, he's actually splitting up and doing a drop. But stalkers will deflect that. Now he might try the front. Ideally, you kill the Observer, because if you can get all your guys attacking from the front when the Stalkers aren't there, you can actually do a ton of damage. Um, but that's what the Observer's here for, so Hero can pull these Stalkers back. If you kill the Observer, the Protoss doesn't know where you are, so they have to put the Stalkers to cover the drop, but then he also then, then leaves the front vulnerable. So there's going to be a single Marine hidden up here. When he sees the Stalkers, okay, he's not going to... Actually, he does see the Stalkers. He might know there's Observer now. Does he know it? Mm. Yes, at least strongly suspected. He's he, thinking about it. He's he might not have a scan right, right now. Oh, just dropped, right, just dropped a meal. meal, yeah. Well, Observer is going to live for now. Both players, um, you know, Hero happy to play defensive on two bases until he gets up a couple Colossi. He, I think he just finished Thermal Lance. Oh, no, he never even got Thermal Lance. Wow. He's got he's gotten two Colossi, but no Thermal Lance. A third Colossi, did he just forget it? He might have. Oh, no. Like, uh, sometimes I thought maybe he just gets one or two and he doesn't get it right, and he switches, switches to Templar, but... Yep. The players do that on purpose sometimes, yeah, but when you get, you get three, third, it's like... Yeah, it's clearly a mistake at that point. Now, what, what, uh, what Mara's trying to do, he's trying to keep Hero busy here. He's trying to distract him uh, up here, but the Observer sees that it's not that big of an army, so Hero might be suspicious. Now, there's in the drop in the main. Oh, the Stalkers are a little bit out of position here. Oh, they do have oh, blink. Oh, they're going to blink in. Targeting out one medevac. Yeah. Taking down the second, or trying to. Actually, Marauder's getting yeah. some decent trades onto those uh, onto Oh, those and meanwhile, more, more drops coming to flank the Stalkers. The, unit, the army from the front come in to reinforce the, the army that dropped in, into the main here. Okay. Um, but there aren't enough medevacs to save everyone. Who gets it? Oh, you poor guys. They get left behind. Oh, medevac gets picked off as well. Yep. So overall, he lost two medevacs full units. That's a good, that, was a, that was a solid defense there. From yeah. Here, I, think. I mean, I think it definitely favored Hero there. Um, in fact, you can see units lost are fairly even. But again, Hero just lost, you know, easily replaceable units, stalkers and zealots. Uh, whereas Maru was the one who lost a little bit more of the sophisticated units, uh, in this case with the medevacs. Maru does have the third base up now. So... Uh, this can give him a small economic advantage, but Hero has a ton of gateways. And, and he's going for, he's getting Temple Archives, he's getting Charge, he already has Blinks. So he's getting a very well-developed army, has a lot more production capacity than Maru. That being said, the fact that his Colossus don't have range is, I think, it's going to be a problem. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit surprised he hasn't noticed it just yet. He was uh, skirmishing a little bit with his Colossae. Oh, look at this. Oh, it stays alive. Yeah, yeah, it is something you might have thought he would have noticed that, but that's 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 actually a very good use of the mule. Um, you want to keep the factor alive so you can build a second. Oh, it's gonna burn down again. Mule, what did you? Okay, he has an SCV now. Yeah. Oh, he sent his SCV a while ago, but he realized it wouldn't get there in time, so he had to drop a mule just to to keep the lives of SCV could get there. Very fancy. Fun. And then this mule actually, it is gonna get one or two trips in. Does all it walks in sees SCVs? Okay, he's gonna take it out. Um, but now if Mauro can take out a third base of hero, uh, that would be a big win for him. If he can't, he definitely needs to keep his tech because right now yeah. he has one one. Okay, he's gonna try to Okay, he's it. just starting out too. Okay. I, I like seeing a small force here. Enough that Hero can't just warp in units. I mean he doesn't even have a pylon, now he does, but um, even if he did have a pylon, wouldn't he couldn't warp enough units to deal with this. And his army comes up here, we could have a flank here. Oh, he's to cancel the Nexus. And now Maru gonna be swooping in from the left hand oh, side. There's no force fields. There's a lot of charge lots though. Look at the try flank. To support a little bit. And now the stalker's blinking for the Colossus get a micro back. Yeah. A bunch of units being picked up in a Metavax and then dropped to try yeah. to take care of those Colossus, but the charge lots doing so much damage here. And the wow. blink forward with the stalkers and Mario gets cleaned up. Hero up 137 to 111 in supply. That did not go how no. Mario planned. It was nice when he killed the Nexus, but from there. He probably should have just retreated. I mean yep. he he thought the Colossus were the threat there. But it was actually just the mass charge shots. There were so many charge shots in a composition. Uh, and then his force over here wasn't cutting backwards, so it got torn to pieces there. A little bit of a missed call. And, and now, I mean, I, I would have put Maru ahead if he got away. But I would definitely think Hero has advantage. Yes, it's th three bases at two, but Hero's up by 30 supply. Mm -hmm. He's got Templar Archives done. Uh, even without Colossi range, he still has, you know, uh, several Colossi in the field, and they're still useful. Upgrade-wise... Uh, it's looking fair to even, and Hero's going to have a slide upgrade advantage for a bit, because his arm will finish slightly before the attack from, from Mauro, but uh, Mauro took a massive blow in, 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 in army size there, and remember, when he took the faster 30, he delayed his barracks, so uh, just now is he going up to 8 barracks. He's on 5 for quite a while, whereas Hero's been on like a bajillion warp gates forever. Bajillion. Roughly. No more, no less. A bajillion, and he's resecuring that third base. He's got all those expensive units still alive. That's pretty important. Still doesn't have range. Does he notice here? Yeah, you, you think he might have <laughs> had to close it. He doesn't need range. Yeah. Ooh, actually picked up a Colossus and a warp prism. What is your plan, hero? Now is a point. Oh, it was just rallied. It was a rally point. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, a lot of, a lot of times you rally your robo to to one of your Colossi. Yep. Uh, but then if you build a war prism, it just automatically picks it up. Wonder if this will inspire him to go drop with the colors. Am I? I? I don't think he will though. Um, so. He really needs to know he doesn't have range because I mean he has Templar out. And he's got such a good army. And if he's he making had more classes too. Yeah. I mean he, he it was clearly a mistake. Now the thing is is that he's so so far ahead in supply. I mean look at army value, right? He's he's up. He's up by about 2,300 army value. That's a lot of resources up. Yep. He, he's, he's maxed out. And, and Mauro's only 170. So Mauro's going to have to have the battle his lifetime. To hold maybe, this maybe he didn't get range on purpose just to show Mauro he can beat him without range. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Because of all, he's a little yeah. bit upset about all the mule droppings. Here's the scan. Caesar's too high Templar. Meanwhile, uh, War Prism was caught by Vikings. A great nice pickup pick by Mauro. Mauro wants to retreat until his Vikings get back. And, yep. and ideally, has, okay, now he's got four ghosts. Mauro has a great composition, but numerically, he's, he's significantly outnumbered here. Now, uh, the question is, what can these Vikings do? This is like, Mauro is spreading out his units so perfectly right now. Oh, yeah. And and he, he can back up on, onto each of the uh, the ramps. He can pull SCVs from two directions if he needs to. This Hello, is the observer. observer. Yeah, poor little guy. And now Hero is in the dark. There is no ghost cloak. That's the good news for you. Okay, yet. he's going to try to, he might try to uh, storm pretty soon here. You know, he doesn't have that many Templar. If, if we look at things, uh, he only has, oh, he has 11. Oh, they're all, they're all, they're all for defense somewhere else. He's got, he's got Templar, I guess, spread out everywhere. Uh oh, um, I think one of his Templar taken oh, out. Oh, another one. Storm. Another one coming forward, oh. getting a decent storm out of the bio army, but a big stim here from Maru, thinking about going forward. The stalkers. You know, Maru up. doesn't have too many medevacs, so he's got to be careful with the stim. So he's, he's at seven, but with, with the army this size, um, this is a really tricky situation. Double expand from Hero, by the way. Yeah, I like it. I like. It. I mean, he's maxed out, might as well. Yep. Uh, he already has tons of warp gates. Okay, let's see what happens Low here. Low energy medevacing sacrifice. You know, Mara's army still doesn't look that impressively big. A uh, little bit of a zealot run by attempt. Mara gonna spot that. Deal with yeah. the high templar coming forward. He's trying to distract his opponent. <gasps> There's a storm onto oh. the bio. Another storm going down. Those are great storms there from Hero. 
And Maru, a little bit distracted by the shenanigans going on in his third yeah. base. His army, Maru's army is so battered now. And, and here's continuing upgrades. Here's a, he's at 2-2 two, two going on 3-3. Three, three. Maru's at 2-1 working on 2-2. Two, two. So Hero still maintains that upgrade advantage. Maru's got a very better army, but Maru still has a great position here with, with the great spread. A lot of Vikings there as well should be able to take down those Colossus fairly easily, especially considering those Colossus oh. don't have range. High energy go or high energy Templar. This guy's like party. He just realized he doesn't have range. He was trying oh. to kite a little and bit with those Colossus, and then he's retreating. Yeah. yeah. It's like you know what? Maybe I shouldn't take. I think he might just back back away home and Chrono boost this like a like a madman, right? Yeah. You think he, I bet he put like five Chrono boosts on this? Like yep. even though it actually is a total waste to use it more than once in the same same second, right? But he probably just did it anyway, just yep. to like really reinforce the idea he wants it out fast now. Uh, what Mars going to do is he's going to send a small squad of units out to try to go Templar hunting. These Templar are pretty exposed. Oh, Templar! Um, they do weaken the units with Storm, but Mar was coming in now. I think Mar recognizes... Oh, that was a great oh, Storm. God. I don't even know where those that came from. There's one down here. I think there was one up here or something, maybe. Um, I think it was taken out. He was in full retreat. Mar was in hot pursuit, but Mar... His, uni his army is kind of battered. The He's from the Vikings right now. Oh, he could. The Vikings are, are hurt. There come the, the, the Stalkers. He Here come the Storms. Vikings? There goes the Storm the Vikings. Oh, Another Storm. Great storm. Great Storms under the Vikings. Really going to whittle those down. Remember, range is not yet done. One Colossus sacrificing his life. Maru going to try to make this work. He's all of a sudden up in supply. High Templar trying to delay this push as long as possible. Oh, That's a lot of ghosts in that composition. And Archon taken out. Can Hero somehow make this work? He's in trouble. Oh, I, I love how what Maru's doing here. He's sending a small force into here. Uh, Zell Wolfren Zell should hold that, though. That's going to be taken out. More. Oh, all the ghosts were just massively stormed. Maru has got to be running low on medevac energy. In fact, I, I don't see even too many medevacs uh, in hey, total range here. Range is finishing up, and now Hero's going to go for it. A lot of charge shots coming forward, trying to come in from as many angles as possible. He might have enough here. Only three medevacs in this composition, and so many charge shots on the ground. No EMP is going to be enough to deal with this. The Stalker's going to blink forward and try to take care of those medevacs that are hastily scurrying away. And Heroes have to be careful. Doesn't want to overextend here. Oh, even three SCVs joining the fight. The, the ghosts are kind of in the front. The Zelts are still doing great damage. There's more medevacs in here now. Uh, and there's a two Archons behind it. A nice EMP goes off on the Archons, but he's got to get something to follow that up. So close. So technical. Hero need, needs to retreat to a warp and power. I mean, Hero. ultimately, during all this, Hero has bases. Yes, and, and he, he's ahead by 30 supply. Maru doesn't have a fourth. No. He doesn't he's even have a fourth. He's mined out of his main, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have to move, move this one over. He's almost mined out of his natural, even. So Mules will do. Again, we're at the 24-minute mark, and Hero... Just the fact that he's been able to deny a fourth of his wow. opponent has been pretty is, huge. Is Hero going to be the WCS green champion I here? I think it might happen. I mean, I feel like, I mean, he's up in supply, but uh, the bases are the big thing. Like, Hero has such a better economy. He has such a better ability to He's also had an upgrade. So he's 3-3 three, three versus 2-2. Two, two. Maro, yep. Maro can never afford to get 3-3. Three, three. And he has Colossus range, which is great. Yeah, fine. Which is great. Definitely happy to see that. Ooh, and he's got Dark Templars mixed in. Hero's got to be feeling great now, knowing these bases. You know what? I, I mean, I, I assume he, he, he knows about this base, or he's probably assuming there's one there, but he doesn't know about this top left base. It's, it's not too often you see a Protoss get away with a hidden base like this. Normally it's Terrence who do it with the drop mules, but... Hidden bases are good. Moves. Hidden bases are good. All right. Maru's still in it, though. Yes, he's down by quite a bit in supply. He's so mineral starved right now. He is. Uh... He's one of those players who can make, you know, amazing micro comebacks happen. I mean, you can't even afford to get a planetary here. That's all Mineral Star he is. Yep. And, and it's a lot of it, he hasn't really been able to, to use mules. He had to do so many goes. Here comes the Protoss army. Maru needs to defend this okay. base. Does he have what it takes, though? Does he have oh, enough? He's There's down so many units here. Four flying. Archons, so many charges as well. Immortals, High Templars coming up. Look out for those storms. One storm deployed, a second storm deployed. Charge going to back up. They don't want to engage just yet. Uh, Maru trying to get a planetary oh, force up at this location. His control is fantastic. Staying away, staying split, using whole position. There's a feedback on no meta back. But Hero reinforcing with more and more units. There's four Colossi, er, three Colossi there. We got like four Archons, five Archons. Plenty of charge loss, plenty of stalkers. He does not want that planetary fortress to complete. It's already being repaired by SCVs. Yeah, he's going to go oh. in for it once more now. Oh, as Mara is a back way, the PF will be vulnerable. The Colossi are being distracted, actually. High Templars. Oh, so many High Templar here. I don't know if there's enough ghosts. No, he's they're just gonna storm everything. Yeah, and the medevacs are all out of energy. There's no energy left. Wow. The Fortress just dies. No That's mules drop in there. No mules drop in there for Maru. And Hero mm -hmm. takes out Maru. 3 2. Wow. I really thought Maru would win that series, but no. Like, Hero started up two, Hero started up 2 0. Yeah. Maru came back looking dominant, winning two in a row, equaling it at 2 2. But Hero making it work. In yeah, he said, you know what? You're, you're on a, a counter swing. You got the momentum on your side winning two in a row, but I'm yep. just gonna put a stop to that right now. Uh, just really, really strong overall macro play by Hero.
He was always out expanding, out upgrading his opponent. And even with Morrow's amazing engagements, amazing control, it, 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 it's, it's, an, it's a numbers game. It, it, it's a big part of it. If you're always outnumbered, always out upgraded, eventually the, the toll will, you know, will come. Once that once once Hero was able to get those Colossi out, the High Templar yeah. out, and then he was just just pressuring. He was just pressuring his opponent, keeping Mario back, keeping Mario scared, while at the same time sending Zelts here and there. And he was taking two bases behind it. Yes. One at the twelve o'clock, one at the ten o'clock. Like he was he was yes. taking he was taking two bases behind it. Mario had no idea. And in the meantime, Mario's fourth was delayed, his main was mined out. So ultimately that game that game kinda came down to Hero just having so many resources. His bank at the end there, eighteen thirty, fourteen twenty two. Yes. And Mara was desperately trying to get that fourth base up just so we can get some money, some minerals. Yeah. To Nero was rolling it, man. Yeah. He was rolling in it. Yep. Great took, play. Took a lesson from TLO. Yes. A good lesson there from TLO. Uh, so Hero takes the 3-2 victory over Mara, which means our final is going to be Hero versus Parting. Who we don't know when that's going to be just yet. No, it, it's, it's not going to be super soon. Yep. Uh, they want to put it at a big land event. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be like October, summer, mid-October. Yep. Wait, it already is October, isn't it? Or uh, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, wow. Yeah. I thought it was like August. I know, I know. What's happened to I me? know, time is time is, is become very rare. Um, thanks you two guys for hanging out and, and watching this uh, in the chat. How are you guys doing? Cranberry Kisses. I like your name a lot. Voice of all, Infinity, Infinity Kick, Avarice, SC2, Digimouse, Dangerous, Oh My God. Ryu kissed Scoo uh Yeah, CF Honor. Thanks for hanging out with us. Coming up next. What's coming up next? Coming up next, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna put this right back with you guys. Um, not just the semifinals you just saw. Amazing games between, of course, Sen and Parting, and just now Hero and Maru. Mm -hmm. But the quarterfinal matches, of course, yep. that's Nesty Parting. That was a great match. Sen versus Max said Maru versus I think was it Zigua, and it was um, Hero against Jim. Uh, th those, of course, are the four quarterfinal matches. So those will be coming up. Those are all, I believe, best at threes. Yep. Uh, we're going to put those up. Uh, we originally aired them, like, Thursday. So yeah. They're, they're very recent, though. They're, they're within the games were played, um, like, four days before we aired They were awesome aired games. Yeah. Awesome, awesome matches. Games. Awesome players playing each other. I, You know, I, I'm, a lot of people are always, like, really finicky about when things were played and, uh, you know, when things happen. Is it live? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. StarCraft 2, enjoy the matches, enjoy yeah. the games. Like well, these, these are very recent as well. Yeah, very recent yeah. too, and, and they're awesome games. Awesome matches are very relevant with the current meta game, stuff like that. But um, that's going to be going all night long, guys. So if you're looking to watch more StarCraft 2, this is your destination, MajorLeagueGaming.com, twitch.tv slash MLGSE2. But I think that wraps it up right now, guys. Remember, stay tuned. Rebroadcast coming up of the quarterfinals and then followed by the semifinals once again. Enjoy.